welcome to the West Coast Beer Cast, episode one. I'm Bobby Covina. And my name is Professor Bill. And we are the, the West, West Coast, Coast Beer, Beer Cast. We should play a theme song, maybe. We'll work on that. Yeah, next right. episode. Theme next song. episode. All right. All right. So, this is not for beer prudes. No. So, if we become beer prudes, you got to email us to let us know. We're just about finding a good beer. So, what are we talking about today, Robert? Today, we got stouts on the lineup. All Probably right. I like stouts, too. So, we'll start off with Guinness. Classic. Moylan's Imperial Stout. Russian Stout. Good, good. We're going to do a couple oatmeals. We're doing the Samuel Smith Oatmeal Stout. Which, by the way, is like the standard for the oatmeal. Everybody right. tries to imitate them. And Stockyard Oatmeal Stout. It's good. Alright. And we got the Lost Abbey Serpent Stout. 11%. So this is a sipping beer. Yes. Yeah. And uh, finally, our Signature, perhaps, stout is the Requiem Espresso Stout, um, the Gentleman Scholar Brewing Company. So there we you had go. some chocolate stout, but one of the non-cast members drank it right before the show. Yeah. So, so no chocolate no stout. Chocolate stout. Sorry. Sorry about that. So let's take a little history lesson, learn a bit about the stout, the varieties of stout, and we'll come back and do some tastings. All right. Stout is a dark beer brewed using roasted malts of barley and generous amounts of hops. There are several variations of the stout. Dry or Irish stout is very dark in color and often has a toast or coffee-like taste. The most popular dry stout is Guinness. During the last part of the 19th century, stout beer gained a reputation of being a healthy, strengthening drink used by athletes and nursing mothers. Imperial stout has a higher alcohol content. 9 to 10 percent is common. Woohoo! This was necessary to prevent the beer from freezing in transport to Russia. And it also makes the girl sitting next to you at the bar a lot prettier. Oatmeal stout is brewed with a proportion of oats, which gives it a velvety texture and a hint of sweetness. This version of stout was revived by the Yorkshire brewer Samuel Smith in 1980 and has now become the standard by which other oatmeal stouts strive. Now, dark roasted malts can lend a bitter coffee flavor to dark beer. Some breweries like to emphasize the coffee flavor by adding ground coffee, hence, coffee stout. Chocolate stout is another variation. Using a darker roasted malt leaves a noticeably dark chocolate flavor. Some chocolate stouts, such as Young Double's Chocolate Stout and Rogue Chocolate Stout, are brewed with a small amount of actual chocolate. All right, so we're going to start with Guinness. Uh, doesn't need an introduction. They need an introduction. introduction. We're supposed to introduce them all. Okay. Half the sound guy told us to, to introduce them. Okay. So I expect that this will be the least willing of memorable. expectations, just least memorable. Okay. So there we go. We're supposed to smell it, and we're just. It's beer. Yeah. It's, it's about what I thought. Yeah. It tastes like a stout. If you've never had a stout, I guess this is a good place to start. It's pretty mellow. Mellow and creamy. Not too bitter. It tastes and like the extra stout. Make sure you get the extra stout, not the regular Guinness, because it has higher alcohol. Paul Cut. We just started drinking. I've had half an ounce. <laughs> higher, higher alcohol content, which makes it the shelf life. It fun. usually makes it more flavorful as well. There you go. And it, it makes you drunk faster. Um, yeah, this is kind of like chocolate milk mixed with... Uh, that went bad. With flat soda. Chocolate milk that went bad. And so if you're looking for, uh, for flat cola, not even Coke, like flat cola mixed with... like. Two days past its due date, chocolate milk. There we go. This is what I would say. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spit bucket? No? No. Just set it back down? I right. don't spit. It says in a wine soap. I don't know. Okay. Now we're moving on to the uh, Imperial Stouts, Russian Stouts. This is Moylan's Imperial yeah. Stout. You learned a lot about the Russian Stouts from our eloquent British... Who guy? I don't know. Who was England. that guy? That was annoying. Terrible. Uh, so... This is probably going to have more of a kick to it. Yeah. I'm hoping it's... Do we have any bar food? Or... No, we forgot to take that out. 
That's in one of the drawers. This is our new man porch. The set of the oh, uh, there beer it is. Nets. Set of the, the West Coast beer nets. Nets. But they are. All right, let's we'll, we'll sit this down. Yeah. We'll, so we need to pause this. Um, when you give a shout out, do you just say I'd like to give a shout out, or do you just go for it? I thought these were open too. Yeah, they are. All right. We need to give a shout out to Tyler, who uh, contributed the beer nuts. He might be a featured guest, episode two. Okay. Thank you. So, is this cleansing our palate? Or... Hmm? Can you grab that? Taylor's. Seems like dog biscuits. It's all right. Oh. I'm way to Find a safe place for that. All right. All right. Moylands. Moylands, here we go. And this one's 10%. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, it's a little more bitter than the, definitely than the Guinness. This is like sweet up front, and then really bitter and dry. It really makes sweet. You like this is amazing. Like you need. This is really good. It's really sweet, and then you can really taste that alcohol. So, if you're drinking beer and you don't like the taste of alcohol with beer. Or there's not one to get, but as far as Imperial Stouts go, it's really smooth. It has almost a smoothness of Guinness, except with flavor. Very well said. That's okay. really good. Where's the beer nuts? Oh, beer nuts. Okay, so we're going to move on to Oatmeal Stout now. Samuel Smith's. You know what's cool about Samuel Smith is the water they use for that is from the same well they dug in like the early 1700s. Nice. And I would imagine, much like with coffee, water is an important part of the flavor of beer. Oh, yeah. Good water gives you As all good coffee. Yeah. So probably uh, good water gives you good beer. All right. So Sam Smith's oatmeal stout. Probably going to taste more oaty, smoothie. All right. We don't predict, we just drink it. Wow. Completely That's different. Tangy. Way yeah. different. We're completely different. So, the oats kind of takes that bitter edge off, right? And kind of yeah, there's it no out. bitter. It's, 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 it's like, like silky, it's like velvety. That's not velvety. It tastes like orange peel to me now. If you do the Boylan's Imperial Stout and then the Sam Smith Oatmeal, I'm, I'm I just tasting. Taste, I get a. I, it's velvet. It's right. like it just coasts over your tongue. In it's a good way. Yeah, I All like right. it. Mm. And it's sweet, but very not sweet. too sweet. Yeah. No. You think it's very sweet? Anyway, I would say on the sweet to very sweet scale, it's it's sweet. It's good. I'm really liking this. Stout. Yeah. Stockyard oatmeal stout. This one's great. I've had this a lot from Trader Joe's. If they have a Trader Joe's, six dollars for a six pack, which is much different from the rest of the stouts that are usually much more expensive. Yeah, like so this twice is, that for one. Yeah, this is as cheap as Guinness. I'm expecting it to be much more flavorful though. We'll compare it to uh, the other oatmeal stout. Okay, here we go. All right. Smell like oats to me. Not as sweet. Mm. Tastes like you put a piece of leather in there and let it sit for a couple days. It does. I never thought anyone would say it tastes like leather, but this tastes like leather now. Yeah. Like sweet leather though. Yeah. I'm still getting orange peels. I don't know if that's the beer mix. So you can either take a Sam Smith's oatmeal stout and Stick a piece of leather in there and let it soak for a couple of days, or you can just buy some stuff. Some stuff. A couple of friends show up you didn't invite. Give them this beer. Yeah, or the friends that drink your good beer and don't know it's good beer, give them this and say it's a good beer because it's. There you go. It's good. It's so not that's great. The beer to try to impress somebody with that you don't want to impress. Right. Right. Lost Abbey. All right, Lost Abbey. All right. Is this one 11 percent? 11 percent. All right. And it's like 12 bucks. Wow. Kind of smells. Smell this. Like. Old tennis shoes. Yeah. Like motor oil gasoline tennis shoes. 
like the stuff they probably drank from the Matrix when they drank that. Woo! That's it's this. It's eleven percent, and it tastes like it's eleven percent. Yeah, there's no. And that's not a good thing to me. Mm. If you're looking for a stout that is like the mother of all stouts, I don't know the best. Is the mother of all stouts means the best? It's not that. I don't this think is like tar. It's very syrupy. It's just it's like tar. It's, yeah. It's thick. It's well, there's definitely no head on it. Not that you'd no. see it in the, what is that, a two, three ounce taster? I could not drink a glass of this. I could tell it like this, it's just, it's not, to me it's not drinking beer, it's drinking liqueur or something. Like a, a syrup almost, yeah. Yeah, like a coffee liqueur kind of thing with this. Not really get, <coughs> oh. <laughs> I don't get coffee, I was trying to spill that around. Hey. Just. Well, I'm glad I was excited about that. Uh, All right, moving on. The Gentleman Scholar. If you're a gentleman and a scholar, or just a scholar like Bill. Um, I'm a gentleman scholar. And by the way, he really is. He has like 10 degrees, uh, and he is a professor at a university. So that's how he got that name, Professor Bill. All right. So All this right. guy's espresso, so probably lots of coffee on it. Yeah. You know, this is one they actually add coffee to. Actual coffee grounds? Actual coffee. Not right. just the, you know, from I the I can't smell it. It smells like, oh, There's I got no it. smell. Put your nose way in there. Right. You know that tastes less like coffee than some of the other ones. That's what I don't understand. I get it. It tastes like espresso to me. It's good. It's actually really good. It's really I'm bland. A, but I'm not tasting a huge amount of coffee. I'm not. I mean, I drink huge... coffee every morning. I love coffee. I love coffee. Yeah. I'm not tasting a huge amount of anything on this. Oh. This would be good to, you know, you have a... Wait, it has you a just finished a good meal, it. you have a slice of dark chocolate cake, and you need With a beer this? to wash it down. That would be good. Great. This is a really nice finish, though. Nice coffee yeah. finish. There's nothing, like, acidy or bitter about it. It just... It just the sits finish really is good. by far the best part. Yes. By far. Yes, yes. You almost want to take a drink just to get to the finish of that. Like small drinks. Like the last. So you have more yeah. finishes. Than just... You know, I have to say, this is surprisingly good. Yeah. I don't get anything on the attack. Take a sip and it tastes like Diet Coke. Mm. Alright. So now we're to the segment of the episode where we. The pick of the week. Pick of the week. pick of the week. So what is your... Right. Let's do a quick rundown. <clears throat> Guinness. I think, and this is my chance to talk, Guinness is uneventful. It's a stout, but technically, I don't know. Give it to your dog without feeling too badly. Except for not really at all. I'd say Moylan's. Surprisingly delicious for being a 10%. It's really smooth, really just... Delicious, o overall amazing. Samuel Smith just tasted a bit like orange peel to me. Didn't really taste the oat. Tasted the stout. I'm not not feeling it. Um, even worse with the Stockyard Stout. Definitely an inferior stout. I don't know. It's like the Miller Genuine Draft of stouts. A lost Abby, can you grab that for Not me? Not really beer, I don't think. I don't think you can call this beer. No, it's, it's my turn, though, to, to talk. I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, Serpent Stout, it's good. I think if you're in the mood for something really syrupy and thick and heavy, like motor oil, but stout, Serpent Stout's the way to go. There you go. There are times when I love it, and it's my favorite beer in the world, um, but whatever. Most of you want it to get right your problems. Uh, and then Requiem, the espresso. Lame attack, lame actual drinking, amazing finish. That's one of those you want to drink just at the end. It's like the opposite of an apple. I'm going to have to go with the Moylan's Imperial oh, Stout. Oh, the Moylan! Okay, put it in the box. All right, put it in the box. Here we go. 
There we go. There we are. New Orleans, Imperial Stout. Catherine the Second of Russia, Queen Catherine. I bet she would drink bet she would love that. With that stuff. Absolutely. Love that. Love Absolutely. her beer. Now's the part of the show when we drink our pick of the week. As you can see, poorly lit is the uh, the Moylan's Imperial, Imperial Stout. Stout. Until next week. This is Bobby Colvina. This is Professor Bill. Signing off, the West Coast Beer Cast. Saying, now that's, that's a, a beer. beer.